So guys, there is a new Luma version out and it's really, really important that you update this time. It's called 13.3.3 and here are the things it fixes or adds or whatever. So let's just go through this real quick. It fixes screen flickering and burn-in issues sometimes happening on IPS screens, which is really good. Uh, yeah, this was caused by very old code, which this updates and improved LCD controller initialization. And in change screen brightness submenu, it fixes some limitation calculation errors. Additionally, it also adds you to illuminate slightly above preset five. So you will get a little more brightness. And this is of course safe because the panel allows it. And um, yeah. It also fixes new 3DS only issue where using DSi auto boot. And uh, this is also fixed by zero filling and 3DS only, blah, 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 blah. It also adds some further improvements to overall system stability and other minor adjustments have been made to enhance the user experience. And this tutorial, of course, I will show you how to do this without a PC. Only reason I am showing this Legion go off is to just show what is getting updated right here. And let's just move on to the 3DS. This will, of course, work on all 3DSs, the old 3DS, the 3DS XL, the new 2DS XL, new 3DS and new 3DS XL. All of those consoles this will work on. So what you need to do is, first of all, make sure you're on the latest 3DS system update. And then you're going to go into system settings. Press on internet settings and just make sure that you have a internet connection. Just going to test my connection. Yep, as you can see, it works. Let's just get that confirmed. There we go. Yes, it does work. Read later, back, back. And then we can just go out of here. And since you already have a modded 3DS, I guess that you also have Universal Updater. That is what you need to update Luma. And so let's just go into Universal Updater now. And if you do not have a Universal Updater but have a modded 3DS, just download that. Let's see here, Universal Team. Here we go. A simple 3DS homebrew updater. Let's open this. It's first time opening this, so I might just have to go through a couple of things. Yeah, it's downloading. Let it just do its thing. There we go. Boom. Now we'll close out and I can just open it again. Mm -mm -mm. Give it just a second here. Also modding another 30s, so or modding a 30s, which just got done. Very nice. A lot of work today. Loading spreadsheet. There we go. Now let's just find Luma. Here you have the Luma 3DS logo. Just make sure you have chosen the right one. It might be lower down here or somewhere, but for me, it's on top here. Gonna press A on it. Then you just press on boot.firm and confirm. Now you can press here. Just wait and wait and wait until it is done. Boot.firm succeeded. Just go home. There we go. Turn your 3DS off. Now I'll just make sure that we are on the latest version here. What was that called again? Let's see here. 13.3.3. So now we're going to just press select and power on. Boom. As you can see, we're on 13.3.3. I was on 13.2.1, I think which was one of the, yeah, this one. But um, yeah, now I am on the latest version and that's how you do that. If you have any questions, comment and thank us for watching. Like, dislike, subscribe. 
more updates are going to come out soon. So subscribe to make sure that you get notified when the latest Luma 30s version comes out. And other updates for the 30s come out, like HOP, which has also come out. So I will link that right there. Goodbye.